right now I have my own consulting firm that I use to help nonprofits, um, specifically in the NASCAR nonprofit industry. And I work very closely. My main client is the Martin Truex Jr. Foundation. And our mission is to help um, uh, families who are going through pediatric cancer issues and families that go through ovarian cancer issues and um, try to put some funding into um, initiatives that are severely underfunded, but also to help the families with needs that come up that you don't necessarily expect. Martin Truex Jr. Foundation has booths at some of the local NASCAR tracks, so we are able to collect donations through selling merchandise branded with the Martin Truex Foundation logo. Hopefully we save lives through the programs that, that we're able to assist with, with our charitable donations. It has to be hundreds of thousands of women and children, I'm glad to say. And I think we've reached the million dollar mark this year over the past 10 years that we've, we've been able to raise. She has had challenges in her life. She has had um, both personal as well as uh, professional. Um, and in every instance when she's had a challenge, she's been able to um, rise up and meet that challenge and do her best to be able to overcome it or to be able to figure out how to um, get through it. I do have something called pulmonary sarcoidosis, which is something that there is no cure for. Um, pretty much my immune system thinks something's going on inside there and it's not. And it, um, it releases white blood cells that end up making little granulomas in my lung, <laughs> which um, has made my lung function less than a normal person's. And, that combined with my asthma, I have about a um, little over 50% lung function. I am a diabetic also, I have diabetes. So that's a challenge to, again, especially when you're in this busy, busy life and you're traveling and, and doing that kind of thing. Just to know what you can eat, you usually have to bring it yourself. Um, and just staying, uh, it, it, you know, you just have to be dedicated and, and rigid and try to keep your doctor's appointments, take your blood when you're supposed to, eat when you're supposed to, so it's, um, you know, some days I wish I could wake up and do what I wanted to. <laughs> that would be nice. But you know what, I'm so grateful and I think that's where what I do keeps me grounded because, you know, I might not want to get out of bed in the morning, but I really do know people who can't get out of bed in the morning. So it's all a gift. I think I've always had that underlying sense that someday I might need that help myself. So I want to be sure to be that good neighbor to be there for other people to do it. Um, and. The rewards are so great, it's hard to put into words because we really get to know the families, the patients that we're working with, and it makes it very personal. And it definitely is not a job or a career path, it's a way I live my life.